welcome to the lesson of the week with yours truly, Sean Thunder Wallace. I'm a performer, composer, and professor of music at The Ohio State University. This weekly program is designed to inspire and inform the serious music student. We're all students here, so join me on the path of discovery as we learn together. A triad pair is any two triads with no notes in common. Okay, basics. Um, if you want to have a triad pair that works for a uh, for major, uh, so and when I say major, I'm talking about anything related to major, everything in the major family. Mm -hmm. So if I was in C major, that would be C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, uh, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, B Locrian. Right. The C major family. Okay. <clears throat> then the triads would be F and G. The triads would be F and G. So uh, for major, they're built off the fourth and fifth mm -hmm. of the key. Of the key. So the trick. The trick question would be E Phrygian, what are the triad pairs? Don't worry about E Phrygian, just figure out what key you're in. Right, it'd still be F and G. It's still F and G. It's still F and G. So, um, and there's four basic triad pairs uh, patterns that I think people should start with. And then it's like you can go anywhere you want mm -hmm. past that. So, the, the first basic one is three up, three up. Okay, now what happens is you play root inversion, then you play first inversion, then you play second inversion. So, okay, and then obviously you want to be able to play that backwards. Okay, cool. Then the second way would be three up, three down. Okay, and uh, the, the third way would be four up, four up. All you do is repeat the bottom note in each group. Okay, four up, four down. Obviously. Okay. So those are the basic uh, triad pairs patterns for the C major family. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously you learn that in every key. All right, there you go. Now, when I want to start mixing it up, and you can you can go all, go to town with this. Um, you want to start mixing it up. One one thing to do if I wanted an odd grouping would be to play two notes from the first triad, three notes from the second, all three notes from the second triad. So then I end up with five note groupings. <laughs> Right? You know, uh, if I wanted a seven note, obviously I could play the three note and then the four note. Mm -hmm. uh, Cool. I can also kind of add a hitch, so I can say, okay, uh, I'll play all of the notes of the triad, but on the second grouping, I might repeat one of the notes that I already played. So, like, I might do this. kinds of, of different shapes um, based on that but okay so we're saying like right now like those are over those are over C yes huh. 
I guess it's tripping me out because it's again it's this fourth thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> the fourth. But you, you know? don't have to start on the fourth. Right. You don't have to start on. The right, right, right. But it just, it just, it's just where the triad is based. So if I start like the first inversion, then technically I'm going to yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole oil. Still, yeah. still, still works. Right. Um, for melodic minor, all the same patterns. I mean, uh, and devise your own, please. You know, uh, your own uh, groupings of notes. For melodic minor, the melodic minor family, which would be, you know, say if we were talking about C melodic minor, it's going to be one major and one augmented triad. One major and one augmented triad. Okay? And that's going to give you everything for the C melodic minor family. Still built off the fourth and fifth of the particular key. So, uh, C melodic minor, D Dorian flat two, uh, 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 E flat Lydian augmented, F uh, Lydian mixolydian or Lydian dominant, uh, G mixolydian flat six, A uh, diminished whole tone, and uh, B uh, the altered scale, B altered scale, or B inverted dimensional tone. Okay, so it works as all of those, and for all of the chords, that obviously that all of those would happen. If I'm talking about major again, this is what's what, what's what's great about this is just that one triad pair having that together. We'll, we'll say you know just the uh, uh, F and G for for the major family works for C major seven. D minor seven, mm -hmm. E minor seven. Uh, what is it? Flat that's thirteen, that. flat nine. Yeah. Uh, uh, F major seven sharp eleven, G seven, uh, uh, A minor seven flat thirteen, and uh, uh, B minor seven flat thirteen flat nine flat five. Which of course oftentimes uh, half diminished seven or minor seven flat five is actually short for flat thirteen flat nine flat five. Um, you listen to a bass player walk on a minor seven flat five chord. Typically, they're going to play a half step. They're right. going to start with a half step. You know, um, and diminished would be a good substitution for a minor seven flat five chord. That's a good substitution, but that starts with a whole step, and that situation would start with a whole step to be the one that works mm -hmm. best. Okay, so they actually tend to actually walk low grand. Um, so that tells you that it's more than just the flat five there. There's a flat nine in there too, because that's where they have to go. Right. Uh, and to test wait, the, not if you start with the whole step. No, 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 no. That, that's 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 a good substitution, and sometimes you'll hear, uh, uh, you know, a slick bass player might sometimes play a whole step, so getting that natural nine. But typically not. Mm -hmm. Typically they're going to play that flat nine, which right. They're really walking low grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what was it going to say. So. There's your triad pairs for melodic minor. Triad pairs for harmonic minor. Okay? One minor and one augmented, a whole step apart, still built off the fourth and the fifth. Still built off the fourth and the fifth. So that's just one note. And what's great about this is once you get the majors together, it's mm -hmm. only one note different to, to really get melodic minor together. Mm -hmm. And it's only one note different to get harmonic minor. So those are. Hello. Thank you for watching the lesson of the week. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the ratings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Sean Thunder Wallace, and continue to spread the word. Another way that you can continue to show support for my music and for my teaching is by, is by purchasing my latest CD. My latest CD is called Sacramental. You can find it on my website. At SeanThunderWallace.com. You can also find it on iTunes, Napster, and Amazon MP3. Uh, I would highly encourage you to purchase a CD from my website because there's a 12 page booklet that does a great job of contextualizing the music.